Is oatmeal good for weight loss? Here is what a dietitian really thinks. It's all about how you prepare it. If you are trying to lose weight, one of the best things you can do is eat your breakfast. Front-loading calories earlier in your day means you're less likely to overeat later on in the day because you are starting off full and satisfied. And when it comes to a healthy breakfast, one of the classics that probably comes to mind is a big bowl of oatmeal. But is it really a good choice for weight loss? Oatmeal is generally touted as a healthy food as it can fuel you with energy and other good-for-you nutrients that can lower cholesterol and control your blood sugar levels. But it is a carb-heavy grain, so you might be wondering if oatmeal is actually a good food choice if you are trying to lose weight, especially since many diets involve limiting carbs. Here's the thing, whether or not oatmeal is a good breakfast for weight loss really depends on the kind you are eating and how you are preparing it. Here is what dietitians said about eating oatmeal for weight loss. How many calories are in oatmeal? If you take a look at oatmeal's nutrition profile, you'll see that it's mostly carbs, but it also packs fiber and other nutrients like zinc and magnesium. The number of calories a bowl of oatmeal holds depends on how you cook it or serve it. But here is what the nutritional makeup of a typical cup of rolled oats might look like unprepared according to the USDA. 307 calories. 5 gram fat, 54 gram carbs, 1 gram sugar, 150 milligram sodium, 10 gram fiber, 10 gram protein. Here are some health and weight loss related benefits of this nutritious meal. Oatmeal keeps you feeling full and helps regulate bowel movements. Dietary fiber, particularly soluble fiber, softens stool, making it easier to pass. It also regulates hunger by creating a feeling of fullness. Oats have soluble fiber, which forms a gel-like formula that can leave people feeling full. Oatmeal helps to keep blood sugar from spiking. Another perk of eating oatmeal is that the rolled oats version qualifies as a low glycemic index food. The glycemic index or GI is a ranking of foods based on how much they raise blood sugar. Therefore, a low GI means that oatmeal keeps your blood sugar from spiking too high during and after meals, which may help fend off hunger longer. Spikes in blood sugar can also cause fatigue and headaches. Keeping your blood sugar in a healthy range, particularly for people with diabetes, may prevent long-term health complications such as heart disease. Oatmeal helps control insulin. As blood sugar levels rise, the pancreas produces insulin, a hormone that helps cells absorb glucose, aka blood sugar. Foods with a low glycemic index like oats are digested more slowly which causes a more gradual rise in blood sugar. Because insulin allows cells to absorb blood sugar which the body converts to fat if there is too much of it, low insulin levels are associated with weight loss. Oatmeal may help boost the immune system. One type of soluble fiber, beta-glucan, is found in oats and helps activate your infection-fighting blood cells. Staying healthy means you can be active, keep a regular exercise schedule, and either lose or maintain weight. How to eat oatmeal for weight loss? Though oatmeal has several health benefits, people should be mindful of the potential drawbacks. Here is what to avoid or stay mindful of when incorporating oatmeal into your diet. Don't add too much sugar and mix-ins. It may be tempting to add some sweetness and fat to oatmeal, which by itself is generally very bland. But calories from brown sugar, butter, and syrup add up quickly. Instead, opt for fruit. Throwing a couple of blueberries on it is a great idea. Throwing sugar on it, not a great idea. Pay attention to portion size. While the recommended portion size of half a cup of dry oats is healthy, oatmeal can be very caloric and too carb heavy in high amounts. 
that could interfere with weight loss goals. However, depending on your age, height, weight, and physical activity level, one cup or more of oats may be okay. Stay away from instant or flavored oats. All of the calories, fat, carbohydrates, and protein content in various oats are similar, their effects on blood sugar are not. Because instant oats are more highly processed, they have less fiber and therefore a higher glycemic index. A well-balanced, low-fat, healthy diet should include more minimally processed foods such as whole grains which have low GI values. Similarly, flavored oats should be avoided as they are frequently full of processed sugar and the fiber doesn't offset. Avoid eating too much too soon. When I recommend fiber, I tell people to start slow, ease into it, and nutrition says. Otherwise, your body may have a hard time processing all the fiber, which can cause bloating, constipation, and stomach pain. People should start with oatmeal two to four times a week and work their way up to daily servings. It may be beneficial to have a large glass of water with oatmeal to help move the fiber through the gastrointestinal tract to reduce bloating and stomach pain. The best oatmeal combinations for faster weight loss. Mix these toppings together on your oatmeal for weight loss success. Vary up your oatmeal routine with any of the intriguing flavor combos below. Number 1. Blueberries plus almonds. You may think calorie-dense almonds wouldn't be slimming, but studies show that people who eat nuts more frequently tend to have a lower body mass index or BMI. So go ahead and include a small handful of slivered almonds in your next oatmeal creation. Then, for sweetness, turn to fresh or frozen blueberries. Some research indicates that anthocyanins, the flavonoids that give blueberries their signature color, may have natural weight loss promoting properties. Number 2. Pears plus Cinnamon The cozy flavors of fall come through loud and clear when you combine pears and cinnamon in your oatmeal. Half a fiber-rich medium pear adds just 50 calories, and the calories in a sprinkle of earthy cinnamon are negligible, making this an especially low-calorie choice. Try finely diced ripe pear in microwavable oats or add firmer pears to baked oatmeal. Number 3. Black seed, banana, and peanut butter. Banana and peanut butter are a classic combo for a reason. The simple food pairing isn't just delicious, it's good for weight loss too. A tablespoon of peanut butter packs 4 grams of protein to keep a full belly. Wild bananas add sweetness so there is no need for honey or brown sugar here. Sprinkle a tablespoon of flaxseed for extra texture, fiber, and heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Number 4. Pumpkin plus turmeric and pomegranate. Ready to think way outside the bowl? Spice things up literally with a unique melange of poplin puree, turmeric, and pomegranate seeds. Pumpkin provides plenty of fiber to stave off cravings and boasts important micronutrients like vitamin A, vitamin C, and potassium. Meanwhile, turmeric's antioxidant properties make it a worthwhile addition to your diet at any time. Its spicy bite pairs beautifully with the pumpkin's mild creaminess. Finish things off with jewel-toned pomegranate nibs for sweetness and crunch. A quarter cup contains just 36 calories. Number 5. Shredded carrots plus walnuts plus maple syrup. Fruit is an obvious go-to as an oatmeal topping, but veggies can find their way into a tasty bowel too. Create a carrot cake-inspired breakfast by incorporating shredded carrots, walnut pieces, and maple syrup into your next baked oatmeal. Baking will soften the carrots and walnuts so they are not overly crunchy. Between the fiber from the carrots and the protein and good fats in the nuts, it's a satiating healthy mix that still manages to taste like dessert. The bottom line. 
Oatmeal can be a nutritious and filling addition to a healthy diet. Its low glycemic index combined with soluble fiber can help with both constipation and weight loss. Studies have found eating oatmeal is effective for appetite control. Its ingredients and nutritional content make it an ideal addition to a weight loss regimen. Those introducing oatmeal to their diet should start slowly and avoid instant and flavored oats. Now you have to answer a question. Have you ever liked eating oatmeal? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more information. Please like, share and comment on our video. Thank you for watching.